Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. I'm joined today with Batman, Superman, right off of their wonderful block, but it wasn't a blockbuster movie, no. It was, it was an interesting movie. You, you guys did a good job, but <clears throat> oh boy. And there's more coming from you guys and we'll talk about that on a video on Comic Frontline. Maybe not tonight, but hopefully maybe sometime tomorrow. But we got a lot of books this week, both digitally and and physically, but before we get into any of that, let's get into some news. <sighs> I'm sick. Tommy's sick. We both got sick basically at the same time. <clears throat> I probably caught it from Tommy. Uh, we've been sick since Thursday. Yeah. If you watch 123 Podcast, which Brant and I recorded on Thursday night, you could see the beginnings of this. Wasn't pretty. Wasn't pretty at all. So, uh, yeah... Uh, I guess that's the news for the week, is I'm <clears throat> sick, so depending on where I'm at by Monday night will depend on where everything goes. Uh, the good news is there are a lot of videos up on Comic Frontline. I reviewed Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number two, uh, the Dark Avenger comic book haul, which basically was mail time for this channel. Uh, the first episode is up on Comic Frontline right now, continuing the Batman and Superman. These are two of the things that were from the Dark Avenger haul. <clears throat> uh, first look and impression moved over to Frontline Gaming Zone. So if you if you missed out on the Rainbow Six experience, it's up on Frontline Gaming Zone now. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that have gone up. Hmm. There will be other videos in the coming week. Uh, the review for these comic books, as well as Anime Weekly this week, might... <clears throat> I say that with a crack in my voice. Might be late. Might. Uh, it all depends on uh, how I'm feeling Monday night. Monday night is usually when Jeremy and I record Anime Weekly. And uh, before that, if I'm okay, Michael and I will do the comics. Because I've already started reading the comics. But we got a lot this week. I mean a lot. So it really just depends how I'm feeling. <clears throat> all the comic reading, if we get that done. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. Uh, stay tuned for 123 Podcast. Big announcements on <clears throat> this week's episode about the future for 123 Podcast. I'll get more into it, I guess, next week once it's up. Other than that, everything else has moved over now to Comic Frontline, except for, obviously, the main shows. This one, the live show, and the comic review. So these are the three videos uh, you're going to be seeing only on this channel as we move forward. I, <clears throat> Depending how I feel tomorrow, I might have something to do with these two schnooks. Um on Comic Frontline, a bit of a topic video, and um, yeah, maybe I'll have a comic review up. I'm not sure. Don't quote me, because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling, but if I'm not feeling good, Anime Weekly might be a day late, uh, and the comic review, as soon as I'm up to par on this channel, I'll get it up. I promise you guys. I mean, we got last week's up <clears throat> pretty well, so pretty much on time, so we'll try to get those up. We'll get this and my videos up as soon as possible. I'm not talking straight, so let's get into the comic books because this is not the first time we're recording this and we had to stop because of something that went on with me. Angel and Faith, issue number 25 for season 10. This is the last issue. I hope this comes back when Buffy the Vampire Slayer comes back because I love Angel and Faith. I didn't even... This went under my radar, but I saw a few people tweeting about it, so I got it digitally. Grizzly Shark... Issue number one. Apparently there was a one-shot that came out a few years ago from uh, Image called um, Grizzly Shark and Sea Bears. It was a two-story book. I don't know, but that's where Grizzly Shark comes from. So I I'm going to read it. It looks really cool from what I've read so far. It looks really awesome. We got Archie issue number seven. Really digging the new, uh, <clears throat> the new uh, series. Predator Life and Death, issue number two. Is this going to be the only book in this 12-part series, or will there be others connected to it? Like I said, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number two. Really d dig the artwork in this book. <clears throat> Got Vampirella, issue number two. Vampirella's awesome. Uh, Mike's got Inferno Resurrection, issue two of five. Also, Steampunk, issue two of two. Oh, so this is the last issue for Steampunk from Grim Fairy Tales as well, from Xenoscope. Got Escape from New York, issue number 16. God, this series just keeps going and going. It's kind of like, um, what do you call that series? Uh, 
Big Trouble in Little China. Golden Key Alliance, issue number one, with characters from Dynamite that Michael um, is fans of. <clears throat> uh, Lobster Johnson and uh, the Forgotten Man. One shot. Michael loves Lobster Johnson. We got Miss Fury, issue number one. A lot of big things I've been hearing about Miss Fury. Uh, Ninjack, issue number 14. Gotta be loving some of that Ninjack. Oh, and we missed these books the past two months, so we're going to play catch-up. Next week, next episode, Issue 3 comes out. So for this episode, Michael is going to be reviewing Insufferable on the Road, <clears throat> Issue number 1. And possibly... Only 1. Oh, 1. Next week, Michael's going to be doing Issue 2, which came out last month, along with Issue 3. That's what so, the plan was. I'm sorry, I'm sick, so forgive oh. me. So Mike will be doing the first issue this week, and then next week he'll do two, and the one that comes out next week, which is three. Johnny Red, uh, issue number... Oh, it's uh, six. Six, thank you. It didn't show. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't show reason. it on here. Black Panther, number one. I had to try it. It's Black Panther. It's issue one. Why the hell not? Black Widow, issue two. Mark Wade, Gotta get it. And Chris Amney. Old Man Logan, issue number four. Old Man Logan versus Cap. I haven't looked at any of these yet. I figured I tried out uh, uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan, and I liked it, so I decided to try out uh, Poe Dameron, issue number one, for Star Wars. We got the Infinity Entity, issue number four, which is my guilty pleasure. Probably get a, a honorable mention more than a review. Mike's got Deadpool, issue number nine. Looks like Sabretooth is involved. <clears throat> we got Swamp Thing, issue number four. He's going to be guest... Uh, he's going to be teaming with Constantine in DC Rebirth. Spider-Woman Alpha, <clears throat> issue number one. The big crossover between Spider-Woman, Spider-Gwen, and Silk. Mike's going to be reading uh, Spider-Gwen, I guess, for the next month. The Amazing Spider-Man and Silk, uh, Marvel Infinite Comics, issue number three. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, issue number six. And I believe that's it. Yep, and that's it for the digitals. So now we get into the physicals. At your local comic shops this week, you can get a all-new story start now. Marvel free previews for everything coming up, I guess, with Civil War. And then on the flip side, you get some other extra previews. So if you are interested in certain books, if you want to see what's going on in them... Well, <clears throat> you can uh, you you can, you can see stuff like wow that was weird and very inappropriate, but you can see stuff like this. Yes, so free at your local comic shop. Always show these off so this way you guys know what you can get for free. So now let's get into the actual books that aren't free. And I actually did not order a variant that I got in this uh, pile, but we'll get to that. We've got the Walking Dead issue number one hundred and fifty three. Where's Negan? And is Negan going to attack? That's the big question that everybody's asking. We've got Superman and the Coming of the Superman, issue number three of six. Three more to go after this. <clears throat> For some weird reason, they feel it necessary to have another one shot, for, bleh, one shot for the Dark Side Wars. But it's only $3.99 because this is DC Comics. So I got the, um, oh God, Neil Adams variant. I couldn't remember the name for a second. <clears throat> and I really like the cover a lot. So I figure why not? I'm getting everything else related to the Dark Side War except for a few one-shots. Might as well get that one. Uh, we got Invincible Iron Man issue number eight. Guest starring the amazing Spider-Man. Grim Fairy Tales 121. They keep pushing this. They keep saying it's the penultimate issue, but it keeps going. Am I complaining, though? Absolutely not. Patrick Shand is doing an amazing job on this series, and you can keep pushing it as much as you want because I'm loving Grim Fairy Tales right now. We got Green Arrow 51. I guess Deathstroke is making a guest appearance. Got Green Lantern issue 51. <clears throat> Spider-Man issue number three, where we got Miss Marvel, it looks like, guest appearing. And in the end of the last issue, a Blayla showed up. Run, Spider-Man, run. We got Spider-Man 2099, issue number 9. <clears throat> and now, I did not order the variant for this. Because I'm not getting any of the variants from DC this month. Because the variants 
are all done by John Romita Jr. So here's Superman issue number 51. This is not the cover I wanted, but I guess they made a mistake because I ordered the Justice League um, Neil Adams cover. They probably messed up and thought I ordered the variant for Superman as well. I like that they're going back to the triangle numbers for this last story arc. Uh, the last story arc for Superman is carrying over into all of the Superman family books. This, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and uh, Action. Uh, because D the new DCU or the new 52 universe of the DCU is ending at issue 52 and these are all 51s. So it's going to be running through the 51s and ending on the 52s. In which book, though, I have no idea. But if you follow the triangle numbers, you'll be fine. And with that, that's it for this weekly comic book call, guys. I'm sorry for cutting this short, but <coughs> I'm already losing it. So, as always, links in the description below. Please check them out in your spare time. ComicFrontline.com, your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Frontline Gaming Zone, Zone 4 Podcast, Last Ember Press, the up-and-coming awesome comic books, you know, Wow, I just, it completely, comic book company, the, co the word company, okay, feel free to comment below about any of the comics you saw here, any recommendations, anything you have to say about the comics, I'm sorry in advance if things are a little late, things happen, people get sick, look forward to stuff coming this week, uh, announcement real quick, uh, Star Fox is not coming out this week, I made that mention on Dark Avenger Live, it is coming out next week. So Star Fox will not be part of the Dark Avenger comic book, uh, the Dark Avenger Hall on Frontline this week. <clears throat> that will be next week. So this week we go into some mystery stuff again, and then next week we will get into uh, Star Fox with a few other little goodies here and there. Till then, take care, everybody. Keep reading, keep collecting, and we'll see you guys really soon in the next video.